Hello viewers, welcome to our history class today and your teacher is teacher Rojab Michira. The topic of discussion today is trade and the subtopic is the culture and economic activities of man during the Middle Stone Age and the channel is Elimu TV where, you to go, where, where we get to watch and learn. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, at the end of the lesson, I expect that we should be able to explain the cultural and the cultural and economic practices of man during the new stone age and as we had said earlier we have got three phases of the stone age we have got the early stone age we have the middle stone age then now we have the new stone age however we must note that the new stone age this was the developed man right this is where the developed man took place, right? This is the stage of uh, the developed man. And we'll get to look at the tools man made, how he obtained his food, talk of shelter, right? Talk of clothing, talk of government, if at all there was government, talk of, um, talk of other religious beliefs. Now, can we get to tools, right? Now, we get to realize that man made advanced tools with skill. And I've said this was an able man, right? He had brains, not like those other evolutionary stages. Now, they were a piece of sharp tools, and they were called as the microliths. Now, these were made of arrows, the knives, saws, and daggers. This is the stage that man made arrows, knives, saws, and daggers. Now, what does it tell you when you get to hear about knives, when you get to hear about arrows, when you get to hear about daggers and saws? that tells that the hunting skills of man greatly improved, right? When you talk of the, the arrow, the hunting skills of man greatly Im improved. Let's look at that. For example, we have a spear there, right? And look at how these hunting skills improved. You can look at that. Now, instead of catching fish using an arrow, or rather spear, is using a hook and line, a fishing hooking, hooking and line to fish, or rather to, to catch fish. Can you get to talk about shelter? How do how do shelter, right? Then we get to realize that man made better shelter. He made shelters using the tree branches and the grass. Hey, look at that. Good. Look at the kind of shelter man had compared to the caves. More comfortable. There is warmth as compared to the caves, right? And there is also security. Remember, if you if, if you get to to be in that in that in that small hut, then you are secure. They look at about fire and the kind of shelter they had. Now in the, in, in, the second, in the second picture you can see man lit fire in that, in that hut. That really tells us that man had greatly made a step in his shelter. Can he get to look at food and agriculture? How did he obtain his food? Did he take part in agriculture? Oh yes he did. Man domesticated animals growing and also growing of crops. The first animal to, to be domesticated by man is a dog, right? Man, the, the, the dog was the first animal to be domesticated by man. And also, we get to know that his fishing techniques also greatly improved. Now, as you can see, there are more developments in the new Stone Age period as compared to the early Stone Age period and the middle Stone Age. Talk of government. Of course, yes, they had a government. And when you talk of a government, there are rules and laws to be followed. And what, did, what do you think they set out rules and laws? Remember, as now they settled, as now they ventured more on agriculture, there was enough food. And always, when there's enough food, population increases. And when the population increases, people need laws. People need rules to govern them. Now that is why they started a government. Now, now that they had a more settled life and permanent settlements, this led to setting up of rules and laws to govern them. I've already told you this was as a result of enough food, which resulted to increase in population. And as I said, if there is, if there is enough food, then definitely population will increase. Yes. They look at religion, right? Their language, they had language and religious beliefs developed. For example, they depended more on natural forces such as rain. For example, when they, when they get to see clouds gathering, right? When, when clouds gather together, they, then, then they, they, they get to realize that it seems that we'll be having rain very soon. 
good. So they started believing, they had believed in the natural forces. Can you talk about something about art and craft? What of the paintings, right? What of the basketry and pottery? Look at that. So they specialized in crafts such as basketry, pottery, and later smelting of iron. In the smelting of iron, that is where also they made a more improved tools. For example, the, 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 the hose, the jembes, the fork jembes, right? More specialized in spears, the weapons. This was as a result of smelting of iron. Now, class, as always, there is an assignment for you. Can you get to try this out? Let us describe the cultural and economic practices of man during the new Stone Age period. And for our research, can we get to Evolving World History and Government Form 1, the Oxford University Press, the sixth edition. And as always, this is LMU TV. Get in touch with us via our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and also our SMS line. Send your feedback and always keep it LMU TV, a station where you get to watch and learn.